Can I say something? Sure. Can I just sort of start off with something? You may do whatever you like. I'm a little tired of this whole late night fight thing. I just want to say something. You are fantastic. Yeah. And I just think it should... <laughs> I just think it should be this generational thing, right? All right. I gotta tell you, I think I should be the oldest person you ever have on your show. I should be the fogey. I should be like the patron saint type of okay. old woman. All right. And it should go down from their age wise. So no more Ed McMahon on the show. Well, no, I mean, Ed's <laughs> nice and everything. It's a sort of token guy, older guy. But I'm just saying, I don't pers- No, 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 and I'm not being- Just wait, shh. Please. Were you raised by wolves? Please. <laughs> Actually. All I'm saying is just one thing. All right. Just one little thought. I don't necessarily believe that a- 55-year-old auto parts worker from Michigan should necessarily be so interested in stuff that's going on in what I used to affectionately refer to as our generation. Because you're younger than me. You're 26. Uh, no, you're 26. Late 50s. You're young. You're, you are merely a lad. Yes, I'm a lad and to I some, am yes. Getting there. All so right. all I'm just, I just wanted to say that I okay, feel better now. No problem. Because you it's know, our new policy from now on. I just don't think you should worry about it. You're, it's a great show, and the other shows are good shows too. And just relax, I'm and everybody have a good time, and just do what they do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and it's you know, sure. I know you're not worried, but you're sweating a little bit. Oh, so well, you're that was, I was sort of jumping around a little bit there. This but I'm was okay backstage. Now. I just want to know why. Oh. Uh, it's a Victoria's Secrets cabinet. That's mine. I just, <laughs> just, it's no one's business. <laughs> I run the show my way my show. I know you do. It's very <laughs> funny. Lisa Bernbeck is a very good friend of mine. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. You know her. Yeah, she wrote the preppy handbook, right? Yes. I worked with her once. Yes, I know. She you worked with her. I'm the godmother of her daughter. Ah, Just letting cool. you know. So, uh, so how's it going? Well, it's going well. Yes. I watched your show. Yes. And I heard that you were single and there was this whole issue. And just so you know, because they knew I was coming on your show tonight, yes. my hotel has been angry. I mean, they're double charging me for the room because the switchboard sort of Closed up yes, because I'm, they're I'm sure calling. It, yes, I'm sure it did. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just asking. Really? You are single, right? I am single. Yes. Are you going to do that thing that happens to all sort of very successful guys? I'm new at this. Tell me what that thing is. I want. You know, know what that thing is. I really want to know. That thing is you. Well, you get laid a lot. First of all, well, no, 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 wait. No, wait. No, wait. As I, as I, as I say, I'm, I'm new at this. You say the word laid. <laughs> Say the word laid and they go insane. They were raised by wolves, I'm telling you. All right. All I'm saying is, and you'll date a model, a beautiful model, right? Oh, that would and be And then people will criticize you for dating the model. Then you'll go out with like a 17 year old. Then people will like really freak out that you're dating a 17 year old. So then you'll go out with like a ERA lawyer who, who has like a pet <laughs> thing with uh, helping out uh, whales right, somewhere, right? right. So, but, far, so far it sounds like But then cow. you're gonna go back to the model. <laughs> then you're gonna go back to back the to model. Back to the model who by now has a law degree. Right. And then you're going to get married to her. No. Then I'm going to fool around for 10 more years. <laughs> Where have you been, man? No, I don't necessarily I think. I don't, I, I I'm don't an old-fashioned woman. I'm an older woman, you know, and I've been married happily for nine. Now, so. now you've, seen this, you've seen this happen with other people. Why do you think this is going to happen to me? Because for all you you're know, young and attractive, and you have your own television show. Yeah, Give but what, I, you know, for all you know, I'm just this cl closet nerd who, uh, you know, is completely incompetent with women. Look at this interview. <laughs> <laughs> No, come on. No, no, no. Oh, I mean, no, help me. What would I do? Give me something. Go, babe. Oh, come on. No. Come on, do it. All right. In 1944. <laughs> no. No, I mean, what would, what would you say? No. I, what? Oh, see, they thought you were being mean by saying oh, to no. me, like, what happened in 1944. Oh, like, no, I, was I didn't there. mean it. No, no. <laughs> the audience is so much quicker than I <laughs> It's really funny. I'm like, huh, what? Oh, yeah. Why am I behind the desk then? <laughs> Get them all desks. No, but <laughs> maybe that's the idea. Is we just all have desks. Yes, if they, we're giving everyone in the audience a desk when they leave tonight. Yeah. They're all going to have their own show. All right, we're going to have to go away. We'll be right back with more Jamie Lee Curtis. After